either this or the Nomad 2 to be the last pick for Vaxe. But we're going to see it come out from Malashevsky this time. Finger control and burst speed along with really difficult aim is the name of the game in this map. Pretty much everyone knows this one already. It's Kimi no Kyoko, map by Akali. Uh, let's see it. Two of the best players of all time on a map which, as of recent, has only become doable double time for a very select few players. This map used to be unapproachable with double time for a very, very long time, and now we get to see two of the best players of all time compete on it in a map pool. Yeah, you know, back early in Vaxe's day, you might have seen this as a tiebreaker in something like a round of 32 for even open rank tournaments. But now up here, it's DT up against Malashevsky, who looks so comfortable out of the start. He has an FC on this. It is, I believe, his top play. And up at 99.85% out of the beginning. I think a lot is really going to hinge on this first break into the chorus section. We're going to see how long either of these players can hold on. I think the first break probably going to be the most crucial. Both players continue to hold through these difficult curved streams. Neither of their staminas are letting up. Malashevsky complaining about the stamina earlier in the match does not look phased one bit by this map. And both players are going to make it through that first part. And I really do think now the first break is really going to be critical to who wins this map. Neither of them refusing to budge at this point. Double full combo still intact. Ever so slight accuracy lead for Malashevsky out of the first ki time. We are halfway through the map miles and neither player has dropped at all. 98, high 98 act for both players. 98-6 for Vaxi, 98-8 for Malashevsky. There's a miss on the jump from Malashevsky. He Ooh. drops all the bursts afterwards as well. I think he knows Vaxi is holding on to the combo right now. It's all about Vaxi at this point. How long? Can he hold? Can he make it through this TI time? If he does, this map is basically over. And curse be damned, Vaxe is still looking to remain unassailable in tournaments. Finding the combo through this section, still holding through the doubles, still holding through the jumps into the curved streams, not looking to drop at all. Malashevsky finds another drop, and that is it for sure on this map. 200,000 score lead for Vaxe and no combo for Malashevsky. Vaxe is going to take us to his last pick, looking for the tiebreaker against Malashevsky in this show match. No way he FCs this though. At this point, that is the last thing we're looking at. Vaxe holding on with a 1780 combo into the last chorus section. Let's see if he can hold on. This would be an absolutely unreal play to get in a tournament setting. Malashevsky continues to drop. It's already over. It's a formality at this point. But can this score be set? Can Vaxe show why, once again, that he is the GOAT, why he is widely considered the greatest tournament player of all time, even up against stark opposition from Malashevsky into the ending, Vaxe gonna be getting an FC on Kimi no Kyoku. <laughs> what that is this actually deal? wild. Warm -ups? No way. Yeah, let me, no let me ask you Candyland and warm-ups. Oh yeah, Kimi no Kyoku double time? I remember this map. This used to be a tiebreaker back in my day. Let's play a DT and let he me get that care. FC. Let he me get that FC too. That is absolutely nuts from Vaxe. Not the pick from Malashevsky. This is Vaxe's map. Despite Malashevsky's place on the leaderboard. Wow, what a score 